look at that. 33 degrees. It's 30. Let me zoom in here. It is 33 degrees outside with little snowflakes. And you know what that means? It was just snowing out here. That is just insane, Minnesota. I thought winter was over. What are you doing to me? What time is it? 1.10 in the morning. It's 1.10 in the morning. I'm just getting up, getting ready to head on down the road up towards the Canadian border, which I hope this kind of goes away because I hear Canada is like one of those sunny tropical countries. I'm not sure, fingers crossed, but I gotta get out of this. It's springtime, springtime snow showers. Man, it is cold. I had to run inside, fire, first I fired up my truck, ran inside, grabbed some coffee, I had to put a hoodie on. I had to, it's so cold, I had to put a hoodie on. But I got my coffee, truck is fired up, it's one o'clock in the morning, I think I need to roll. I'm only two hours and 23 minutes away from where I need to be, up towards the Canadian border. And then I pick up at eight o'clock in the morning, so I'll be there a little bit early, as long as I don't get buried in snow drifts or something like that. I should be plenty early, get a couple hours sleep, wake up, get my load, get back down to the Sunshine State, get back down to Orlando, Florida, which is where I'm going. And I have plenty of time to get there. So that means it's going to be a content filled week. I'm pretty happy about that. All right, everybody, it's time to mosey on down the road. Would you look at the sides of the roads? It just finished snowing. I'm up here by the Canadian border. Look at that. There's snow on the side of the road. And when you make these turns, there's even snow in the road. Gotta love spring. This is just mind-blowing. Snow-covered road and ice at 29 degrees thought nearing May 1st I would have to deal with this this is just insane I'm sorry I had to park I need to check this out doc would you look at this it's snow west slick that is look at it slippery sliding snow yeah it's cold it's cold at three o'clock in the morning it is now 26 degrees out i can't believe just like in two more days the month of may starts it's just pretty insane anyway so i'm parked it's three o'clock in the morning i have to get up and get loaded here in about three hours so I might as well get a little bit of shut eye and I will talk to you guys as the sun protrudes up over wherever I am now what is the name of this place what is the name of this town Park Rapids Minnesota that's where I am Park Rapids Minnesota so as the sun rises over Park Rapids Minnesota and hopefully gets rid of some of this stuff. I'll talk to you then. What is going on? What is that? It's summertime. Come on, come on Minnesota, it's summertime. is just crazy. I just woke up, the sun is up, kind of, but it is snowing still, so you really can't tell. I mean, you can't tell the sun's up because it's cloudy. Oh, it is cold. Yes, it's cold. Oh, and my stairs are icy slick. Look at that. It's May. Well, I think one more day, or two more days, it'll be May. This is crazy. 
Definitely stuff you will not see in Florida. At least this time of year. I cannot believe that it's snowing. Can you guys believe it's snowing? Or And there's ice trucks out here are spreading, not ice, they don't spread ice, they spread salt. But there's, so there's salt trucks. So there's salt trucks out here doing their job. It's freezing cold. I mean, I got a t-shirt and a hoodie on. And I didn't wear my flip-flops just now. Did wear them last night, but it's a little bit too cold out today. Just things that I am not used to seeing this time of year. I know the other day I was coming up from Georgia and it was like 93 degrees or something. And I said, it's, it's, it's now construction season. We will not see any more snow or ice for the rest of the year until possibly December. I was wrong. Definitely wrong. <laughs> oh well, man, what are you gonna do? I guess just get loaded and head back down into the sunny weather. Just charging some de Apple stuff. Just charging some devices. Really thinking about en route down towards uh, the house. Let me turn you guys around here. About whipping in and uh, where's my other phones? Oh, they're up front. Uh, thinking about getting the Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I, I'm still debating. It, it's a tough call for me because like you guys right now, I'm talking to you on a Samsung Galaxy S7. I have a Note 4 Edge right down here that I use for entertainment that is falling apart. That needs to get replaced. This phone, I don't know what I use it for, but I do use it. This one, I constantly use even though it's not connected to a service. I turned it off so I can activate that one. So the SIM card from the, this Samsung Note 5 is in my S7 Edge. But I do need to replace that one, the Note 4 Edge. The screen separating, the batteries expanded. It it's, doesn't work unless it's plugged in anymore. So that needs to get replaced. So I'm thinking the, or the S8 or hold off just a little bit longer and check out what the S8 or the Note S8 the S8 Note would be I guess that's what they're going to call it or hold off for the Google Pixel 2 I don't know how much longer I can hold off on that phone down there I just uh, it doesn't have to be a Samsung device I have my this is my go to Samsung device right here the Note 5 and I, I don't like Samsung. The, the thing that I do love about these phones though, I don't carry a wallet anymore. Yeah, I, I don't use Apple Pay. I, it's connected, I just don't have it. And I used to use Android Pay constantly, but you have to have a tap to pay cash register and a lot of places still do not have tap to pay. But Samsung Pay works everywhere. So I use Samsung Pay that, that's the only reason to ever purchase a Samsung phone. It's the number one thing. Samsung Pay, it works great. I, I don't know why other mm -hmm. carriers don't come out and, and they just don't come come out and collaborate and come up with one type of feature like that where I, I could buy an LG phone, an HTC phone, a Samsung phone, whatever phone, Motorola, whatever phone I buy, I would have access to that type of technology rather than trying to find a tap to pay system somewhere so I, I it's not necessary that I purchase the s8 plus but I, I am in love with the curved screens too but I don't need it just for the Samsung pay because I got Samsung devices that have Samsung pay tied into it so I can actually hold off for the Google Pixel 2 or whatever phone HTC decides to come out with next that might be good or LG or something um, I'm just looking for the gigs I want a phone with large gigs that's the main reason I got this iPhone I don't use iPhones I don't know anybody except for one person in Connecticut hey Roxanne that uses iPhones um, it 
I don't use them. But because it's 256 gigs, I can store lots of video and photos on this thing. You know, uh, it without staying up in the cloud. So uh, if I could find a Android device that has that many gigs, you know, 64 or above, that's a decent phone that might last a while that the battery's not going to explode or expand on like my Samsung phone did. And it did. Look at this. This is not the Note. This is not the Note 7. This is this is the edge, the Note Edge of that dirty screen. But look. Look here. See, the screen is peeled all the way up because the battery has expanded and pushed the screen off of the base. And it just doesn't work right anymore. The, the buttons here at the bottom, do, they stopped working. I have to use the, the arrow screen on here to go back now because I can't go back, I can't clear. If I want to clear out all the bookmarks and stuff, I have to actually reboot the phone. It, it's falling apart. Boy, I guess I'm just talking, talking, talking. This is what you do when there's just nothing to do because there's snow on the ground and you're getting loaded. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And I'm going to log into the internet like I was going to last night and explore things to do here in uh, July. I'm probably going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna, give you guys like five options of places I can go, fly to, or stuff that I can do, and A, B, C, D, or E, or something like that, and I'll have you guys choose where I should go in July, and then once you got, I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, some, uh, what do you call it, I'm going to do a little bit of research of, of cheaper, of cheap places to fly to from Orlando, and uh, I'm just going to say, hey, you guys pick and that's where I'm gonna go all right everybody I'm gonna go ahead and sign off get this video up and uh, get ready to head on down out of this cold weather because this is just crazy I'll talk to you guys on the next one I love you all peace everybody